Hey guys, so the Dhaka International Airport is right there, but we have been stuck in this really bad uh, traffic jam for a good like 15 minutes or something, just like right here. I'm willing to walk it, uh, but I'm not exactly sure if that's possible. So I'm in an Uber. It is 300 Bangladeshi Taka, that is about $3. I'm gonna give him 500, so about uh, $4.75 uh, for the ride from my hotel there. So I have a flight today with Air India direct to Kolkata, India. It is just like an hour flight, but uh, there are various potential problems as I have talked about in previous videos. I don't want to go over everything, but uh, in short, then I tried to fly from Thailand to Kolkata two weeks ago, and it turned out that India had just enacted a new restriction requiring a COVID test for anyone coming from just a handful of countries in Asia because of the China pandemic uh, increase, and that included Thailand, so I couldn't board that flight because I didn't have a PCR COVID test. And so I changed plans, came to Bangladesh, was going to fly to Kolkata a week ago because the PCR test is not required from Bangladesh. But then I learned that it was still required for me because I had been in Thailand a week previously. Now I don't mind uh, getting the COVID test if necessary, but uh, it is really a pain. If I don't have to do it, then I would prefer not to. And so I have now been in Bangladesh for 14 days, and so that COVID test should not be required, but uh, who knows what other possible problems could come up. And so there are basically three potential scenarios that I can see happening. Number one is that I get blocked from boarding this flight because of COVID stuff or who knows what else and have to change plans and fly somewhere else. Number two is that I get the flight to Kolkata and then I get to Indian Customs and they say that I can't enter India for some reason because of the COVID test or something else. The third and I think most likely option here is that all will go relatively smoothly. Knock on wood, fingers crossed, etc. That is that I get on the flight, I get to Kolkata, probably a long wait there at customs, but get through. I have my 10-year Indian visa and then get into India and am in Kolkata within a few hours. So we shall see how it goes, but uh, I should be good on time even though I'm stuck in this uh, jam here. But if it doesn't move fairly soon and get to the actual you know, entrance to the airport, then I'm definitely going to jump out of this uh, Uber and walk it because if the lines are long in the airport there, then you know that's gonna be an issue. So hoping for the best. And we are walking it. He actually recommended it. But there is the airport right there. Hello. And boom, I am in, checked in for the flight through immigration. 
No questions asked other than for proof of vaccination, no mention of a COVID test required. So, so far, so good. Now waiting for my flight. It is currently 12.42 p.m. My flight is at 2.45, so I have two hours till the flight departs, so plenty of time. Today is January 30th, the day that my Bangladeshi visa expired, but I have exited Bangladesh now, so next question is, will this flight be delayed? Will I have any problems getting into India? But uh, things are looking good. 1975, a tragic event. Father of the nation, Banga Bandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, the architect of Bangladesh, was assassinated by a handful of army renegades as part of a larger blueprint of national and international conspiracy hatched by anti-liberation forces in the pre-dawn hours of August 15th, 1975. All members of his family were gunned down brutally, except his two daughters, who survived as they were abroad at that ill-fated day. 15th August is observed as the National Mourning Day and nation pays rich tribute. And got some lunch, a couple of chicken sandwiches, a uh, sweet bread, and a pudding, it said, whatever that is exactly, and waiting on a fresh orange juice. <laughs> Indian rupee. So I got my Bangladeshi taka changed into rupees. That was about uh, 47 bucks right there. And so I just saw a sign that said no photo or video. And so I didn't want to take a chance at any more filming. You don't want to push my luck. So one little thing that I wanted to mention for those who followed the previous videos talking about the land border crossing that I had been considering going from a select Bangladesh across the border into India that way. I'm really glad that I did not try to do that. So Backpacker Ben posted a comment below my last video saying that he had tried it, he'd done it, and it took 13 hours, 13 hours to uh, just cross the border, I think without like any bus rides or whatever, just the border crossing time. So maybe it would have been less, probably it would have been less, but uh, anyways, that uh, would have been one heck of a you know, crazy experience that I'm glad that I decided to skip. Uh, so my flight departs in about an hour. So far, so good. We'll see uh, how things go from here, getting you to India. I am in India for the 12th time. Just ordered an Uber. This is one of the reasons that I didn't order one from the airport before in Dhaka, is just the confusion of trying to find it. It's kind of a uh, scene here, four minutes away. It is going to be almost an hour drive to my hotel, probably more than an hour. But it is great to be back. Everything went nice and smooth. No delay with the flight. It couldn't have been better. Okay. Am I in the right place even? Pickup spot? No, I'm not exactly. Okay. 7198. Thank you, sir.
not a great view as is often the case. So that looks like somebody's bed. Whoa, that's weird. But a decent room. A very quick room tour because I want to get out of here and show just a little bit more of Kolkata before it gets dark. $33 or 30 euros per night, here for three nights. And then a flight booked north to Bagdogra, and from there I will head to Darjeeling and Sikkim. So a pretty typical room. I guess the uh, prices have just increased in uh, India, I think. You can find uh, cheaper, of course, but uh, one thing about this room is that it is in a nice location, fairly close to the uh, river, which is what I'm going to walk over to right now. So I never thought that I would arrive in Kolkata, India and think, man, the city is pretty mellow. It's all relative. Coming from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Hello. I'm uh, getting used to my new greeting. Namaskar, namaskar, namaste. No longer salam alaikum. So Kolkata, previously known as Calcutta, Kolkata was the Bengali name already, and so they just changed it officially from the Anglicization of it into Calcutta, but you can call it either one. So it is unique for having foot-powered rickshaws. The only major city in India that has them, I believe. I will definitely hop on one of those at some point here. It is a like 27 minute walk over to the river, so maybe I will catch a rickshaw here after a little bit of a walk. So my first impressions of Kolkata are, it's awesome. I really like it. It has this very lively, happening, colorful, friendly feeling about it. Just based on my past few minutes of being here, I have to say that I think it's going to be my favorite Indian mega city as far as the big cities go. It is the third largest city in India by metro area. It's seventh largest just by the city boundaries, but the full metro area is 14 million. Okay, let's maybe head down this way. All right, first rickshaw driver that comes up to me and tries to give me a ride gets it. So far, nobody has tried to hustle me. This is definitely not one of the more popular tourist cities of India. Where's a rickshaw driver when you want one? Got a little market area here. Huh, so the traffic is going this way. I need to be going, well, basically the other side of this park here but I don't really want to get stuck in traffic going like that when I need to go basically like this. Okay. Blockade. Big freeway in the way. 
going to walk up here and see if there's a way to get across. Well, I think that I'm going to change my plan. It is still a 20 minute walk over to the river, straight that way. I'm tired out, it is getting dark. I get there and then I gotta get back. This is all quite interesting. Hello. I have sunglasses already, so. Yeah. Hello. America, United States, yes. You're from Kolkata? My first day here, so. I just came from Dhaka. Dhaka? Yeah. Bangladesh, yes, so. Next. It's great to be back in India. Next, trip. Next I go uh, Darjeeling, Sikkim. Darjeeling and Sikkim. Into the Himalayas, so. Looking forward to it. This is my brother. Hello, sir. Nice to meet you. Great. Just walking around, so. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. What is your name? Gabriel. Gabriel. What is? Waris. Waris Patal. Waris Patal. Great to meet you, man. All right. Bye bye. So, yeah, I think that I will just walk on through uh, here, get back to the hotel, get started with the old editing. But I definitely want to find something along the way, something that will make the editing more enjoyable. Can you guess what that is? Sugarcane juice. Yummy. I'm looking for a different kind of juice. This is a very happening area here. So yeah, Bangladesh was amazing. I am really glad that I went. I'm really glad that I stayed the extra week and saw more outside of Dhaka but I am also very glad to be back in India hello Wow, this is an intense uh, market area here. And look what we have here at Jimmy's restaurant. Let's see if I can actually get one. Maybe even another beer, but Kingfisher will do. So, beer was not available there. It was open, food available, not beer for some reason. He said, somewhere on the corner. Unique tea center. I wonder what is unique about their tea. Where's the unique beer center? Okay, bar. Thank you.